Well, that was one of several operations to come, which was conducted in Providence. That is in relation to the recent upsurge in crime. We want to reassure the public that the police is taking a zero tolerance to crime, and those are one of the measures where, where we did some stop searches and looking for people that wanted by the police and so forth. Situated at the most congested roundabouts in Providence Yalees, lawmen from all ranks were seen stopping motorists, inspecting traffic documents while others simply shone their flashlights inside vehicles, screening passengers as if they were looking for someone. News 4 discovered that they were about five men in relation to a number of serious crimes who are still at large and whose identity they have refused to release. Well, we are always looking for people and that is one of the measures we, as we were doing it to, to look for persons that are wanted by the police. So specifically in this operation, were you guys looking for anyone in particular? Yeah, we had a number of people we were looking for. This weekend, the entire town appeared to be on lockdown. During the wee morning hours of Sunday, a number of clubs, bars and other social venues were shut down early by police. There were four drug arrests over the weekend for the possession of cannabis, one inside a bar and the others during stop searches. Early on Saturday morning, police were randomly pulling over drivers, searching motorists and their vehicles for illegal drugs, weapons and other questionable items. Dozens of traffic tickets were also issued. Police are just enforcing the law and that's one of the means of where we go and we usually step up our operations around the festive seasons. The detention center was also reopened yesterday after two months of closure as police apprehended 26 suspected illegals from the Q-Town area. It is understood to be closed again when the batch is cleared. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.